Beer, 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 beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Mabruski, for beer review number 85. And today, I have a beer review from Cowbell Brewing Company. It is their Doc Padu's Boxing Bruin IPA, coming in at 6.3% alcohol by volume and 50 IBUs. Also, 10 SRM. SRM, I'm pretty sure, being the color of the beer, or the lightness of it. So it's going to be pretty light, it seems, because it's very low on that scale. So, here's what it looks like. Purpley black can with a, uh, you know, boxing bear right on the side there, which is kind of cool. So, let's crack her open, see what we have. All right, I'm pouring it into our large Flying Monkeys pint glass. And do a nice pour. Get a bit of beer in there. Let's do that much. Bingo. Okay. So yeah, let's take a look at this. Looks pretty clear. Slight haziness. Not too much though. Very, very pale yellow. Looks almost like a lager or something. But it is an IPA. So we're expecting some big, bold hoppiness coming from this beer. So I'm going to stick my nose in it see what we got. Mmm, smells like an IPA, you know, you got the pine, you got the pine resin, you got grapefruit notes. A little bit of mango, I want to say, and a very slight bit of pineapple, but more mango, more of a, of a sweeter thing rather than a citrusy. Also some probably like tangerine in there as well. So, now that the nose is done, let's uh, take a sip and then we'll cheers. Oh, wow. Um, grapefruit and pine for sure. Grapefruit and pine for sure. Mangoes. Um, some sort of citrusy note. I think it might be either lemon or lime if I'm not mistaken. Uh, a little bit of orange in there as well. And something else that's a bit makes it a bit sweeter not juicy like tropical juicy but just sweeter in general not too sure what that is but hopefully we find out so with that said let's continue on drinking and see what else we can learn about this uh cowbell's beer all right cheers everybody damn damn that is good that's really nice it's a nice difference um, because of those sweet, sweeter fruit notes or sweet, almost candy-ish notes, it's different than just a regular like pine, grapefruit, tropical flavors that you usually get in some IPAs. This is a bit of a different twist on it, which is pretty nice. All right, let's look to see what the can has to say. So, Cowbell Brewing Company, Doc Purdue's Boxing Brewin, 6.3% ABV and. Uh, 50 IBU, so 50 rate in the mid range of the bitterness mark. Uh, they do have some information here SRM 10 temp to serve at is about 6 degrees, not 6 degrees, 3 degrees, sorry. And pint glass is what they're showing for the glassware. Uh, they also have pairings and tastings here, which is actually really nice. Pairings they say curried, curried dishes, pizza, wings, carrot cake. Carrot cake. I can't see this going that great with carrot cake, but wings, ooh, oh yeah, pizza for sure. Curry dishes, yeah, I can see I like a butter chicken, pretty nice. Tasting notes are vibrant hops, lime, lemon lemon was right, candied orange, mango, and lychee. So lychee must be the flavor that I'm getting that's a bit sweeter. I don't have too much lychee. I've never really had too much lychee, but I can see where that is coming in through the beer. Also, they have a description of the beer, which reads, Doc Purdue, Doc Purdue was Blythe's veterinarian in the late 1880s, who rescued and cared for a variety of animals, including a bear cub he named Bruin, along with, impo impo bleh, 
along with impromptu boxing exhibitions with the fully grown Bruin, Doc's office became Blythe's unofficial zoo and a popular spot for gatherings. Kind of neat, or at least more of a history of uh, where the name came from. It's kind of cool. <laughs> this does also have a brood on date, I'm pretty sure. 11 17 So, just under a month old. Mouthfeel is nice. Um, not silky smooth like some stouts, but obviously it's not a stout. Not crisp and clean like a lager, because it's not a lager. It is your perfect... Um, it's one of your perfect sort of mouthfeels for an IPA. It's smooth, and it, it's just enough juicy. Um, it's not super juicy creaminess that you usually get with some really heavy, hazy-looking beers, heavy, uh, like, hazy-looking IPAs, but this is still a good balance between nice, juicy mouthfeel of an IPA and also the crisp and cleanness of a traditional lager. Bitterness is perfect right in the middle. Nothing too crazy, but also very nice. And um, it's nothing too crazy for uh, people coming into the craft beer scene that they would be super turned off by this. But um, at the same time, a nice heavy hitting in the uh, hops department. Very good flavors for sure. Going over to the website now, cowbellbrewing.com for... The, uh, for the boxing brew, and they do have a good variety of information here. They have a little bit of a different um, description. They say, outrageously hoppy and classically bitter, boxing brew is a true IPA. Five unique hops and a touch of Belgian candy syrup create a burst of vibrant tropical aromas and flavors of lime, mango, and lychee. The body is smooth with focused bitterness and a refreshing finish. Can't agree more. So let's go down to all the beer specs that they have. So pairings, like I said earlier, curry dishes, pizza, wings, and carrot cake. All the ABVs, IBUs, SRM, temps, and glassware is listed just like they are in the can. Uh, tasting notes as well, vibrant hops, lime, candied orange, mango, and lychee. Always good to see. They also have characteristics and key ingredients. Characteristics are the appearance, clear sunset gold body with bright white foam. Aroma is big hops, pineapple, citrus, and mango. Hmm. Mouthfeel is refreshing with a brisk, dry, bitter finish. For sure. And the key ingredients for hops are citra, my favorite, El Dorado, Denali, Amarillo, and Mosaic. Malts are floor malted Pilsner malt, flaked oats, uh, cap carapils, and caramel 60 and the yeast is a dry English ale. So a lot of information there. More or less, actually, no, they got it right. All the information you want about a beer when it's posted on the website is a description of the beer, tasting notes, all the beer specs of ABV, IBU, SRM, temp, etc., etc., pairings, characteristics, and key ingredients are perfect. Moving over to Beer Advocate, this BA score has only been a uh, 3.35 out of 5, which seems low to me. But um, here, there's one person here, they give it a 3.66 out of 5. They say, on tap at Summerhill LCBO, hmm, interesting, very decent, crushable, on the mark IPA, tasty with some fruit highlights, Cowbell continues to show good signs of breaking out. So, not the longest review. But still, you know, short and sweet. It is damn crushable. Um, it's just on the borderline of crushable. It's definitely a bigger heavy hitter since it is an IPA. But still damn tasty. That sweetness that I'm getting, that lychee, is just works so damn well with the beer. Wow. Definitely don't want to be crushing these super, super fast though. It is 6.3%, so not the heaviest in the alcohol department, but still will get you to where you want to go pretty quick if you're not careful. With all that said, we're down to our final sip, so let's finish this up and get right to the ratings. Cheers on the final sip.
damn that's good so beer rating with the light sheet that's a great addition to uh to the beer it round it gives that extra bit of sweetness little candied orange that they're saying it has in there is is it works really well and just makes everything flow together really nicely from the citrusy notes to the overall just the sweeterness of it and the uh the hops as well well perfectly balanced absolutely beautiful um aroma is very nice as well and um what else mouthfeel is mouthfeel is on point as well so for uh beer rating you know what, I gotta give this a solid 9 out of 10. I think they did a damn good job. I love that additional lychee and it makes it so, so unique. Moving over to the um, to the can and the presentation of the can and the website. Absolutely phenomenal. One thing I do wanna mention is though, I wish their cans were a bit more colorful. The black background, not my favorite. But overall, they have all the information you would ever want on the can and on the website so with that that gets another 9.5 out of 10 so i think that just about wraps it up if you have any comments questions suggestions of beer you want me to review leave all that down in the comment box below don't forget if you really want to like and subscribe the video that's always a really nice thing to do and that just about wraps it up so that'll do it for me mate Bruski, and like i always say crack a beer and enjoy cheers